Our old cooking spatula broke, so we're gonna need a new one. It's very simple, it's just a piece of oak that this one's made out of. I have a new piece here. You wanna be careful when you're picking out a piece of wood for this, because you're gonna be cooking with this. So I've got the shape traced onto the wood here. Now it's just a matter of cutting it out to shape. We got this bandsaw at the thrift store. It was about $15, it's a Delta Homecraft, Delta Rockwell, it is a beast, it's amazing. I love this bandsaw. Before we were using this old uh, red skill and it's so bad. Like it doesn't cut straight. It's too high of RPMs. It is not a good bandsaw. I'm so glad we got this old bandsaw. It seems like everything that's old seems to work a lot better than anything that's new. Now here's our rough shape, and we can go ahead and start sanding it to the final shape. I'm gonna sand this down with 60 grit. This is an old Craftsman belt sander combination with a disc sander, six inch disc sander. I made a new table for it, and it really helps a lot. The old table bent around this way, it was super hard to get belts in and out. I got everything lined up, and it works a lot better. Now we'll smooth out some of those bevels just with hand sanding. I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the 40 grit. I'm going to add a little bit of a taper to the front here. That'll just give you better scraping capabilities. And now we can feather everything in with the sandpaper. I'm gonna use some coconut oil to use it as a finish. It's totally food safe, obviously, because you use it in cooking. There's a few different oils you could use to finish this. Just coconut oil is what we have on hand. You definitely want the coconut oil heated up. That makes it a liquid. Now, oak may not be one of the best woods to make this out of. There's better woods with tighter grain now there's other woods that are a lot worse than oak. You wouldn't want to use, say, a coca bolo. That's a pretty allergenic wood, or like walnut. 
that has some toxins in the wood. Just woods that have tight grain will work nicely. So this is about 10 minutes worth of work. It turned out nice. It'll work a lot better than the one that was broken in half. So I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.